Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to a the Golf Club 2019 course playthrough. And today we will be playing through uh, Victory Village, which is an official course on the game. So let's get going right away. Um, no, I won't, don't want red. Let's go white. And yeah, that's what we're doing. Let's see how we go. Hopefully, we can come away with a decent score. Shouldn't I've been playing a couple of difficult courses recently, and I've been getting like one under, two under on them. You know, they're rated hardest on like the well, I don't know what you call it, the rating meter. But yeah, this one says it's easy, so hopefully that means we could be in for a good round. But let's get going and see. It's loading a bit slow. Probably just cut here. Come back to you when we've loaded in. All right, here we are. First par, first hole on Victory Village is a par four. Four hundred and twenty-four yards. Interesting looking. See how we go. All right, that looks good. Yeah, very nice. Right down the middle of the fairway. Lovely. Hopefully we can chuck a nice approach shot close and pick up a birdie. Oh, I think that's going to be quite good because of the uphill, the uphill and the wind should bring it back a tad. Oh, a bit too much it seems. And we're going into the bunker. Bugger. How can we get out? Uh, that's probably going to be alright. Stop. Oh yes, that is a lovely shot. And we should recover with par. Yeah, there we go. A par for us on the first hole. Hopefully we'll get a couple of birdies though. Sooner or later, we got a par 5 here. Not the biggest. Possible, I think, to reach in two. If we're lucky and get it far on the drive and over that, um, I think there was some sort of ridge or little creek near the green there that we're going to need to uh, take care of here on this second shot. But that shot's almost gone 300 yards, so we've definitely put ourselves in a good position here on this second shot. And yeah, look at that. We can even use our five wood, I think. Oh no, we hit it a bit slow, and it looks like it's going towards the bunker. There, in the bunker we go. Alright, that's not bad. If we hit it close like we did on that last one, we will definitely be able to come away with a birdie. I'll go with the sand wedge. And that's not bad, I'll take that. Needed to aim a bit further over to the right. A t tricky shot that, and we've done it well. And we sink the birdie putt to go to one under. Nice, I like it. Right, par three here on the third hole. Not the shortest, not the longest either. And I think that will be lovely. It's not quite come around, but it's still on the green, and that is very much within range for a birdie. Ooh, tough putt. Rather tough. I don't like these ones. This could this could not go well. Oh, I've not hit that nearly hard enough. I got it caught when I went to push forward. Got it caught on my thumb, and now it looks like we're going to have a Tough putt for par, even. Oh, that was much better. But we've buggered it up, and we're going to have to get a bogey here, which is very disappointing. Yeah, sink that one. The uphill 
big curving putts are much easier than the downhill ones. They curve rather fast and far on the downhill ones, but okay, we'll just have to make do with that. This is a short par 4, and one that we should be looking to birdie as long as that avoids the rough. Ah, oh, damn, I, the wind didn't come into him as much effect as I thought, and we're in the rough. Uh, that, oh, it's up and the heavy rough is taking a lot off it, so I think I might go with the pitching wedge. And I think that was a good decision. That is very much in range of a birdie, but the greens are pretty tough so far on this course, and this one isn't the easiest either. We've done well, though. Birdie, back to one under we go. Right, par five here, another reachable one. And that's a decent drive. Maybe we could get an eagle here. The green, um, no, I'm not sure. I, can, I think you can kind of like roll it up onto the green. But I can't really tell. Let's have a look here. We've got wind blowing to the right. Yeah, that's that's a nice green to approach to. And that is a nice shot to approach to it. I think this should be very nice. And we're on. Roll closer, go on. Oh, it's not rolled that far. I think that might be uphill there because it stopped quite sharply. Yeah, up 12. Wow, that is quite a bit. Okay. Go on. Oh, close. Very close. But we'll have the birdie and we'll move on. That was a tough part. And we've done quite well with it. Nice. Two birdies in a row. Decent streak. And this isn't the longest par four. However, apparently it's quite tough, and I can see why. This is, can't hit it too far. I think we'll just be safe and use the three wood. Because there was some wind back in us, and I wouldn't like us to roll into the rough or the water. And yeah, look at that, that's right up in a decent position. See what we can do with the approach. We're going lob wedge. Looks very good to me. Nice approach. That's very good. That's very, very good. This is looking like another birdie to me. Can we finish it off? It's very flat. Yes. Just almost curved a bit too much to the right, but we got it in the end. We're up to three under, should I say down to three under, but now it's the most difficult hole of the course, apparently. Uh, I guess it is quite difficult, but we should be able to cope with it. Hopefully that wind just brings it round a bit and we should be very good. Uh, it's going to land in the rough, but it'll roll onto the fairway, nice. Alright, approach shot now. How will we go here? It's up. So I think I might go with the six iron. Tad of loft. It's a good shot, and I think we've done that very nicely indeed. Yes. Look at that. The distance is almost perfect. And hopefully we're looking at another birdie. Yes, we are just catching the outside of the cup and falling in very nice. Indeed, we move to four under. Going nicely here. The eighth hole now. Par four. Not the longest, and there is a lovely driving area to hit to down there. Yes, look at that. Straight down the middle. It's up over 280. Towards 290, 290, great shot that, 
and a nice approach, nice green to approach to. Uh, it's up a bit, so I think we'll just underloft it a tad, and that should hopefully be lovely. The wind's bringing it around. Stop. Mm, okay, not bad. I'll take that. Very much in birdie territory. And it's a good putt as well to secure the birdie. And we move to five under. Wow, this has actually been quite a good round. If we get a birdie here and do the same on the back nine, we'll be looking at the 12 under, which is very good. Yeah, it's down. That should be okay, despite the five mile an hour uh, wind blowing us back. That's actually very good. Stop. Oh, it's rolled a bit too far. But yeah. Again, it's a possible birdie, and I don't yet, yeah, the, the green isn't moving that much. Yes! Perfect putt. And we move to six under. What an ending to this nine it has been. Six birdies in succession. That is quite brilliant. Alright, now we can just relax on the back nine. We don't have to get a massively good score. But yeah, let's let's try it. We could get 12 under here. We're on a streak of birdies. Let's increase it. Good shot. To start right down the middle. Would have gone quite a bit further without that uh, six mile an hour wind. Uh... It's not down or up. It's completely flat from here to the green. Um, I think that I will just underloft it a tad. And I think that should be good for an approach. It looks quite good. That's quite good. Could have rolled a bit further, but we'll take it. This isn't the easiest part. But we've putted it in very nicely indeed. Another birdie. Seventh in succession. And we move to seven under. Alright. That looks good. Hopefully the wind just brings it round like it should. It does. Look at that. Right up into the driving area. And we've got an approach to a kind of hidden green over that ridge. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, nine iron. It's up five feet, actually. But this nine iron approach is right at the hole. So I'll use that. Hopefully, it doesn't roll too far. It doesn't look like it will. He says, no, nah, not too far at all. It's coming back as well. Nice. We'll definitely take that. Can we make it eight birdies and eight under? This is a tough putt. And we missed it. Uh, it didn't curve nearly as much as I thought. And we've given ourselves a very tough putt for par. I did not need to hit that nearly as hard as I did. Bugger. Right, the streak's over. But can we make sure that we continue on at seven under? Yes, we can. Sink in that par putt. And head in, uh, that was the second hardest hole on the course, so I suppose a par isn't too bad really. We've got a par 5 here, still yet to get an eagle in such a good round. It's a bit odd not to get have an eagle, but whatever. Interesting looking fairway with all the curves in it. But now, hopefully, it's a decent looking approach. We can pop it close, maybe get an eagle if we're lucky. Got wind blowing into us, and we're oh yeah, we're going to struggle to make the distance, unfortunately. Let's have a look where this one goes. It's not bad. I think it's going to come up just short, which is not that good news because I'm not very good at the little chips. However, it's rolled onto the fringe, which means I'm definitely putting because I do not like these little chips at all. Um. I don't expect this to go in. Hopefully it does. Nah. 
that ridge curled it a bit too much, but it's looking nice for a birdie. Come on, let's pop this in. Yeah, there we go. Eight under we are now. What did we get on the pyramids course? Was it my was it ten? I can't remember. I'm not sure. All right, never mind. Um, eight iron here. There's got we've gotten down and we've got wind behind us. And I think I picked the right club. A tad too far with the roll. Definitely was right to pop it down one. I don't think the nine iron would have been far enough. This is a quite a tough putt, and yeah, it's gone too far. Ah, oh well, we'll have the par. We'll move on. We're still at eight under. Hopefully, we can crack ten. Got what's that? Six, five holes left to get to ten under, and this is a short par four. However, there's water in the way, so maybe it's not as short as we think. We'll just hit it up there, just for safe, just to be safe, for safety. It's gone quite far. Is it going to stop? I thought there was wind stopping it. Bloody hell, that went further than I thought. But, oh well, it's just the light rough. Not going to impact it too much. Nine iron pitch, or probably pitch in wedge pitch, I would think would be... More acceptable shot from here. Please go on, otherwise I'm going to look like an idiot. Ah, oh, bugger. Alright, maybe this won't be as easy to birdie as we thought. I'm definitely putting again. Last time we did quite well with that part. Have I put enough on it? No, I haven't put enough on it. Huh. Oh well, it's within reach of a par. There we go. Right up into the cup. We go uh, along. Not the best back nine, but when you compare it to our front nine, it's difficult to beat. But here we go. Hopefully we can get a birdie here. It's again not the longest par four. We don't have to worry about the water this time, and we smack it long into the middle of the fairway. Hopefully we'll have a nice lob wedge or sand wedge approach shot here. Pop it close, put it in for birdie, nine under, and everything will be lovely. Sand wedge, it is. Oh, it's up. That makes me want to under loft it a bit. See where how this goes. The wind is bringing it round. The wind is nicely bringing it round, and it's nicely next to the hole. I'll take that. And we should hopefully pop this in for birdie. Oh no! Oh, damn it, we're not getting it right on the end. The back nine here. Par again. How many holes have we got left? Three holes, come on. Just need two birdies. It's getting more difficult. But now we've got a par three. If we can pop it close, that would be lovely. A wide. I wouldn't say it's wide. A large area in front of the green, so we don't have to worry about going too short. And I've gone too long, haven't I? Bugger. Ah, oh, that's not good. I should have put one more club down, shouldn't I? Oh well. Let's just put this in so it doesn't matter. Oh, have I hit that well too hard? No, I haven't. Good. I've not even hit it hard enough. Oh. I thought I smashed that well too hard at the start. But, uh, oh well, we'll have the par. Oh my, I almost hit that too hard. Oh, I'm not concentrating enough. Bloody hell. Two holes, two birdies, please. Let's go. Huh? Oh, four iron. Excuse me. I don't think so. We should be able to get over that tree, which means this should be fine. Yeah, over the tree. Nice. Alright. Let's see what we can do with this shot. Come on, we need to get close. We need a birdie. It's up, so I think... No, 9-9 nine, nine won't go far enough. It's uphill, so I think this should be okay. 
And I think I'm right. It's bounced towards the hole. Could it go in? Oh, no, not quite. But that looks like a birdie to me. Uh, flat. I can't miss this. Even my brother couldn't miss that. All right. In we go. One hole, par five. Let's make it ten under. Oh, we've got a dodgy looking landing area. I put it a bit right, which isn't good, but hopefully the wind should bring us back to safety. Oh no. Oh yes, that little hill next to the bunker has put us back onto the fairway. And nine iron? I don't know about that. What are you talking about? I'm hitting me three wood. Uh, no, that's actually not on the curve. So yeah, hopefully that goes up and on. Uh, there are quite a lot of planes flying in the air, so I think there might be an airport nearby to this golf course or something like that. But we pop this one on and we're putting for eagle. I mean, we we're looking for 10 under. What about 11? Oh, it's rather far. All right, I think it's right all the way. Hopefully we've hit that hard enough. We have too far right in the end, but it doesn't matter. We've popped it close for a birdie, and we've succeeded in getting that 10 under. It's not 12, but we'll take it. 10 under is very good. Uh, anything to look at, um, if you want to see that? Uh, nothing much really to see there, is there? Well, there's a big difference, though, between... Um, the white tee and the black tee, it's four, no, 800 meters in the end. I guess it all adds up on every hole. But yeah, I level up, almost level five now. And my handicap's gone up by 0.4 because of my 10 under round. Yeah, down by 0.4, I guess. Yeah, down by 0.4. But, um,. Yeah, that was a good course, I think. We'll give it a four. Anything else to see? Round stats you might be interested in. Longest drive to 94. Just putt 11. 85% fairways, 88% greens. Um, average driving distance, okay. Proximity to the whole of approach shots, 30 feet. One pot percentage is only 50. I think it might have been yesterday when I played around and I did like 80% one putt percentage, which was really quite good, but most of them were saving par. It was a difficult course. Um, I must have done one three putt. I can't remember. Oh yeah, it was that par three when we got a bogey, wasn't it? Mm, maybe it wasn't. I can't remember. Yeah. Not, that's not my best putting accuracy. We didn't putt too well. We did good scrambling. Uh, that's not bad. And we got 10 under. It's not, not a bad round at all. We got 11 birdies in the end on that, which is not too shabby. But I hope you did enjoy our playthrough of Victory Village. If you did, please do uh, drop a like. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.